What's up, fight fans? Greetings from the Wrestleverse. This is Lady J, and it's time to take it to the ring. Here are the headlines for your fight news. Alex Shelley, bound for Bola. Will Ospreay, calm your tits. ROH, full card, end of an era, final battle. MLW Azteca miniseries. Johnny Gargano, future in the air. Alex Shelley is officially bound for Bola. Pro Wrestling Gorilla has announced that Alex Shelley is the second entrant in the 2022 Battle for Los Angeles tournament, which will be held January 29th and January 30th, 2022. Shelley is the reigning IWTV Independent Wrestling World Champion. And he is a former tag team champion in TNA, Impact Wrestling, and Ring of Honor. Will Ospreay wants everyone to calm their tits. Will Ospreay says MLW appearance will happen, just not when it was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Although MLW previously announced in October that Will Ospreay would be making his promotional debut this fall, it just won't happen as originally scheduled. So we're all gonna calm our tits. SE Scoops was the first to report Ospreay was no longer scheduled to appear for MLW this month. The report claimed that he said the deal is off. However, Ospreay took to social media on Tuesday to say that MLW will happen eventually. But you can definitely catch Will Ospreay at New Japan's Wrestle Kingdom, January 5th. Ring of Honor, final battle card done. All right, here we go. Ring of Honor finally revealed the final matches for their upcoming end of an era final battle pay-per-view, taking the event to 11 matches. Three matches were added to the card for final battle. Dalton Castle will defend his ROH Television Championship against Rhett Titus, Silas Young, and Joe Hendry in a four-way match. Then we're gonna have Dragon Lee versus Ray Horace, and we're gonna have a six-woman tag team match with Chelsea Green, Allison Kay, Marty Bell, facing Angelina Love, Mandy Leon, and Miranda Alizé. Now, fans are excited to see the return of Hendry, because this is the first time he's back from Scotland due to, you know, our lovely friend changing the world. It was also announced that Shane Taylor versus Kenny King will be on for final battle, and it will be a fight without honor. A fight without honor is an anything goes match. So here we are, I'm gonna read the whole list for the final battle card. Bandito versus Jonathan Gresham for the ROH World Championship. Roxy versus Willow Nightingale for the ROH Women's World Championship. The OGK, Matt Taven and Mike Bennett versus the Briscoes for the ROH Tag Team Championship. Josh Woods versus Brian Johnson for the ROH Pure Championship. Shane Taylor versus Kenny King, fight without honor match. Brody King, Homicide, and Tony Deppen versus Tracy Williams, Taylor Rust, and Eli Isom. Dalton Castle versus Silas Young versus Joe Hendry versus Rhett Titus for the ROH Television Championship four-way match. Shane Taylor Promotions, we got Moses Khan and O'Shea Edwards versus The Righteous, Vincent, Bateman, and Dutch for the ROH Six-Man Tag Team Championship. Dragon Lee versus Ray Horace. Chelsea Green and The Hex, we got Allison Kay and Marty Bell versus Angelina Love, Mandy Leone, Miranda Alizé, six women tag match. And a wild card 10 mag tag match. The final battle hour, one pre-show. MLW Azteca miniseries. My favorite brand of Lucha Libre will be returning in 2022. Court Bowers Major League Wrestling will premiere its new standalone miniseries MLW Azteca. I fell for pro wrestling when I saw Lucha Underground. 
Robert Rodriguez helped produce Lucha Underground, and I love the storytelling, the like film noir, cinematic quality to the promos and vignettes, and, and the overall love of the Wrestleverse. So MLW Azteca is the unofficial successor to Lucha Underground. I don't know if the cinematic quality will return, but it's gonna be fun to find out. The miniseries was filmed in Mexico and will feature a collection of the top luchadores in the world, including El Hijo de Viquino, who just won the mega championship at AAA's Triple Mania Regia in Mexico. Viewers will also get the chance to see Aerostar, Pagano, Octagon Jr., Psycho Clown, King Muertes, and Carly Perez. We will also see MLW favorites such as the MLW champ, Hammerstone. We can catch this on Cable and Dish Nationwide on BN Sports, premiering Saturday, January 8th, streaming on MLW's YouTube channel, and Fight TV, premiering Thursday, January 6th at 8 p.m. All right, Johnny Gargano, Mr. My Future in NXT is up in the air. Okay, so everyone knows that Johnny Gargano's contract for NXT expired. We were all also waiting for his final announcement to the fans at War Games. So all the boys are crying and the crowd is chanting, please do not go. Gargano said that he really loves the NXT brand because it is his family and that will never change. And he's like, I know changes are scary, but sometimes they need to happen. You will never fail if you bet on yourself. My future is in the air. Maybe I'll do a few things here and there, but for now, I'll be a dad in February. He's like, I can't wait to be a dad. I'll take time out to be a dad. I think he's gonna enjoy fatherhood. Good for you. And then NXT had to stop all this mushiness, so Grayson Waller attacked him from behind and followed up with a power bomb on the commentary table and just blew everything up. No more tears, we're moving on. Let's crash his party. That's it for your fight news. Take a moment to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. For more WrestleCat videos, click the link below. Until next time, I'm Lady J, and keep it lucha.